Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Johnny and I'm so glad that you guys are here today and I'm so glad that I'm doing this, finally recording after such a long time. And first video back will be just going over some photos that I've done over the past couple years when I really first studied photography. And the reason I'm doing this is not to, hey, look at my photos and, you know, give me, give me praise or anything like that. It's not my point. My point is, one, for me to go back and remember the things that I have done and to hopefully be encouraged by what I had done and reminisce in the memory and the story of what the photos were trying to tell or what the moment before the shot was taken. But more importantly for you guys, I want to hopefully encourage you to go out and take more photos, whether it's for to improve your skills or it is for you know making money or more importantly, I think for yourself and to hopefully encourage somebody out there because I know for me for the past few years now I've really struggled to pick up the camera and take photos I really hated it and I started to now recently watch more of Maddie's um, videos and he even mentioned something about like your passion you know can often when put into like a business or into something that's other than the passion can often destroy the passion and so I think I did that but in a way that was very destructive all around like creatively just not wanting to make anything kind of gave up as soon as there was a problem or looking at my camera as if, as if it were some kind of thing taunting me and I know I mentioned that before in other videos but recently I've been saying hey you know what I love to take photography I love to do film whether I'm good at it or not I love doing it so I might as well figure out you know and and rediscover that that passion for it and and have fun doing it again so i will stop talking and start getting into the photos let's get into it so the first one here um is a flat lay photography this is kind of my flat lay era and i honestly want to get back into it and try to discover more about what i can do here but this one i do love this photo and i also would change a lot about this photo and not necessarily for any reason that's like oh it's a bad photo or it's not you know up to par as who my my standard now i think it's great but i think it's a little bit too busy i think that i could probably have slimmed down a few of the different items in the photo for sure but this was taken many years back when i was still using the canon rebel sl1 i mentioned that on the channel before i actually can't find it now the only thing i have reminiscing is my is its kit lens which I believe is what I use on this on this photo. I, but I grabbed this two pieces of wood, opened the garage door, took my camera, and said, "Hey, I want to, you know, symmetry and, and you know, scale and leading lines and all these different elements that you would typically think about in photography." And yes, I'm definitely doing that here, um, as you see in the top left, the Allen keys coming down and the actual wrenches um, right next to it you know kind of staggered up and down a little bit and things on an angle and everything just very um geometric i think is probably the best word and i do love the fact that i use sawdust as the texture because that was like the big thing and honestly for those who are doing flat light photography texture is is a huge thing like just it doesn't have to be like this but something that adds a little bit of depth and almost texture like physical texture to the image always goes a long way so i might have a little overdone it just putting it everywhere but i do still appreciate what i did i do think this is a good photo um would i change it i don't really know how i would change it further other than saying simplifying it but i do love the color grade on this and definitely still one of my favorite and a lot of things that people see when they look through my album they see this photo so it, it's it's encouraging to know that back then even in the beginning stages the creativity was there right as the execution maybe could have been refined so there's my first photo flat light photography of the tools next we got a recent photo which if you follow me on my instagram i have posted this photo this is my buddy caleb and his f250 Ford truck and I love taking photos with him and his vehicles and different things like that so I'm hoping to do more videos and photos of his stuff 
it's just so hard to get you know scheduling down with school and having a family and his work and all this so hopefully in the future we can get some more things done about uh what he does and the trucks and the cars that he has but this photo particular is super special to me and i'm glad that um I had other people kind of see that as well as it's very cinematic and it's very film inspired i guess is probably the best way to put it i'm trying to shoot in a way that makes it feel like it's a screenshot out of a movie um and the color grading of that as well see i'm recent i would say recently i've recently come out of a bad habit but before the bad habit i was really big about tweaking all of the settings in lightroom and learning everything and going through all the sliders and making something happen then presets came along and presets are great i'm not bashing on those but i am bashing on myself for getting into the habit of using them all the time no matter what and that i couldn't like take time to sit down in a collection of photos and and tweak the settings on a color grade to make it what it its own and a lot of times even with weddings and like our wedding photos do turn out great but i do notice i'm like oh it's preset after preset and i know how to tweak those presets to best fit the photo so there is that but i haven't really developed my editing skills to a really you know critical level that i would hope to have had already but have it so this is a beginning phase of me getting into my editing style that's more subtle and more intentional also the photo of it like coming through the pillar there on top and then peering right into the windshield with a nice beautiful sunset glow on the on the windshield where you can see Caleb looking out the window on the other side and I think it's just super cinematic and it's very subtle very simple not a lot of elements going on but you it just all kind of fits together and sometimes these things happen on accident but that is that photo this is a photo where my wife and i went to colorado to take an engagement photo session of a couple that we had met online and to do that session for them and they flew us out to colorado to do those things and then they have their wedding here in chicago this is one of the coolest trips we've ever done because we've never been paid to come out to a state and do something and I wish we can still do more of that, whether it's personal or like something like an engagement shoot, because I think that'd be very cool. Um, but this was in Colorado Springs. So we landed there and it was stupid hot. It was like 85 degrees, almost 90 degrees. And it was beautiful though. It was, it was wonderful. And we're like, oh, where should we go? Where should we go? And we're like, oh wait, this is like literally 10 minutes away from the airport. Why don't we check this out? So we go here and we hike the entire park. And by the time we get done hiking the entire park, it's you can see thunder, uh, rainstorm clouds coming in. And we're like, well, perfect. We, we've experienced everything. We need to see everything uh, that we wanted here. And now we get to go. So that was, a, that was a good experience, except for the fact is that we got sunburned to a crisp and we did not prepare well because we did not anticipate uh, the sun being that harsh on this day. And I didn't mention it, but it was the beginning of April. So... I know the mountain effect in Colorado or other like similar states and regions. Yeah, sometimes you can have all four seasons in a day. But this photo right here is something that I've always wanted to take. And not necessarily of Colorado Springs and like the uh, Garden of the Gods type of scenery, but one where it's like I can get back into that landscape photography. See, I started with landscape photography as my family traveled to Romania all the time. And this is something that I've been missing since COVID and I still crave it and I still want to go and I still want to experience, you know, nature and, and landscapes and just traveling a little bit, whether it's road trips or flying. But this was really an awesome moment, especially being with my, my wife and us having like this really first moment of traveling to the mountains and a, an incredible landscape together. And to be able to capture this and to have the oranges and the blues and the greens and the way that everything just came together. This was taken on the R5 with the 24 to 70 uh, lens. And I mean, everything is tack sharp. Everything. I made sure. <laughs> I made sure to have it like that. And I just love this image. It hangs up in our kitchen now. And so this is Colorado Springs. I would I can't wait to go back. Love it. Now, here's an interesting photo, which 
is hung up. Well, it's not even hung up. It's just printed and unfortunately not hung up. And I need to sell it or give it to somebody and gift it or whatever. It's this giant photo that we have on a canvas and these colors come out so good on it. So this is in San Diego and California has a different golden hour light than any other place in the world. It is just a different quality of light and you'll hear that from everybody and it's absolutely fantastic. This was the first day we got to San Diego, traveling with my dad and my sister, and we get to, I forget the name, something, Palm something, and everywhere was just, you know, across, across the shoreline, it's just beautiful, beautiful sunset, and this was actually us walking back to our car and taking it with, actually, it wasn't this lens, I had an 85 mil, that, I remember I got it, I bought the 85, and that's what I use, but I was using it on the Canon SL1, not this lens. I did bring this, but um, wasn't good enough. So I use the 85 mil 1.8, I believe, and I'd use that to take this and the composition, the colors, and you know, from the gradient, from the pink to the yellow to the orange to the darks, and the silhouette of the pollen trees. I love this photo. There's not really much to say about it other than it was a great experience going to San Diego with my family, but. Um, to know that like there's not much editing going on in this photo I maybe up the saturation a little bit and, and, and maybe added some contrast but that's about it some of the best photos need no editing so um, I'm very proud of this photo very simple and I, I hope to be able to gift that thing to somebody soon because I've been holding it for years and years and years and years so Palm Springs I think it's Palm Springs is Palm Springs I don't remember. If you know, please let me know. But I love this place. Awesome place. Go visit. I'm not sure if I talked about this photo here. This is my... Okay, I have a lot of all-time favorites. But um, this is like one of my all-time favorites. This was taken with a with this lens. It was taken with this lens. I did... This is the kit lens, 18 to 55. And it's the... I don't know if the right word is variable aperture but it's not a fixed aperture at any focal length it's um or zoom length it, it will change from 18 to 55. so i took this with my canon sl1 and this is in romania in um see is it Sichua? i can't remember the name for some reason right now but is this it's a very historical town of Romania it is absolutely beautiful colorful buildings a lot of uh history and historical monuments and buildings like that and also restaurants and the people there and they're very touristy of course and um we were eating like right to the like if the frame were to expand to the right there's a restaurant there and that's where we were sitting outside and we were getting up to leave after we were done hanging out with my cousins and my dad and I was a little grumpy that day. For some reason, I get grumpy. I don't know why. Um, I get, I'm trying to learn how to not be grumpy. I'm trying to, trying to learn how to enjoy the moments of life. And me taking this photo and seeing the result of it definitely got my, my hopes up and my, and my spirits up. But I remember taking the, the camera and literally, as you can see, it's right to the ground. And I just went down, didn't even look and snapped the photo. And this is what came out. I mean, everything about this photo for me is perfect and it happened by luck i didn't know what i was doing i just knew that hey what if i like wide angle put it to the ground spam let me take a shot because i'm like i want something epic and a lot of times we'll see these monuments out there we'll see these great i don't know objects to take a photo of or you know this is like the mountains or or a, a really great tree for whatever reason that came into my mind and you and you'll see or like this building here this like this old church and you'll see it and you're like wow that looks really cool and in your head you can see the awesome image that comes to it but you take the photo and you're like well that didn't really work out that wasn't exactly what i was thinking and then i imported it later that day as you're traveling and i see it i'm like whoa that's awesome now it really did have a it was definitely underexposed but I was able to pull out the colors and the highlights and everything and just kind of leave like it just everything leads up to that. It's just, I cannot explain. I love it. I have it hung up right over there, matted and it's just a, in its frame and hanging up in our in our home. And I love it. And I don't, I don't mean to 
to go about oh look look at my photos and how great they are it just there's a big memory to it with my dad as that was like the last time we went to romania together before he passed and um to know that we were there and we took this photo and and we had a lot of good memories it's just it's it's awesome and just from a art, art perspective this thing is i don't even believe i took it so i'm glad other people feel the same way um not to confirm my ego but to say hey you know other people can relate and other people can appreciate and that means a lot so that's it for all the photos that i want to go over and discuss and have what happened during those times of taking the photos and the memories and all that mumbo jumbo those are the photos and you know if you want to see more of content like this please let me know like the video subscribe definitely it, it helps and it's super encouraging to see people tune in and 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 be part of the community um i always struggle to find ideas for videos and i'm learning to step into being inspired by others and what that could be and so if you have a video that you would love to see or just something like hey like maybe something i'll make soon is getting into photography and like what you need or what you don't need. Do you want to see that? And uh, we'll probably still make it regardless, but let me know what you think um, and what you want to see next. And again, be sure to subscribe, like, comment down below. I just appreciate you guys being here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.